In this video, we will see how to take advantage of multiple workflows for different document types. Multiple workflows are only available in PDM Professional. In this example, we can see here both of the workflows that we're going to be using. And again, this is just an example of what this can look like. And you can set up a workflow for whatever file types that you need to either be approved, revision managed, or both. On the left, we see my default workflow, which is used for all files that don't have their own workflow created for them. In our case, this is going to be used for our CAD files. On the right, we have a more simplified workflow for our Word documents. We will be using a template to create a new part file, as well as an instruction manual Word document that will need to be revision controlled as well. We can relate these files together to ensure they are both at the same revision. So we'll start off in the designs folder of my vault here. And our goal is we're gonna create a new project. Inside of that new project, we'll create a new part file as well as an instruction manual Word document. We'll see how the Word document will go to the Word document workflow and the CAD file will go to the default workflow. We'll ultimately relate these two files together and release them together, ensuring that they are at the same revision. So I'll first start by running a new template to create a new project here and populate this with some information. I can see that we've created project 10. And when I open this up, we have a subsection for our design data, documentation, specifications, as well as a project checklist Word document that has been created for our project 10. Notice that when I check in this Word document, it goes to the in work state of my Word document workflow. So by setting up conditions, I can choose which files go to which workflow. Next, I'll run another template to create our part file as well as our instruction manual Word document. So I'll choose which project we are working in and I'll choose project 10. It'll create my instruction manual for project 10 and I can leave a description or fill out the data card as need be. And I'll create the file. And I'll do the same thing for our part file and leave a description and create that as well. So by creating these files, I had them set up to go to their designated folders. So you can see my CAD data has gone to my design data folder and my instruction manual has gone to my documentation folder. I'll go ahead and I'll check in my instruction manual here. And again, notice that it'll go to the in work state of my Word document workflow. In order to connect these two together, reference each other, Notice at the moment in the contains or where use tab, it's not being referenced by anything. What I'll do is I'll right click and I'll copy my instruction manual and navigate back to my part file. With the part file checked out, I'll right click and use this option paste as reference. We are pasting the instruction manual as a reference to this part file. I'll go ahead and I'll press OK and ultimately check in our part file. When I do so, I can see this goes to the under editing state of my default workflow. And I can see that this part file contains my instruction manual. If I were to navigate to my instruction manual, I can see where is this being used? It's being used in my part document. So again, I'll navigate back to the part document and let's pretend that we've opened this up. We've created our part and we finished our design. We're gonna go ahead and release this document to ultimately receive revision A. Currently it is at a blank revision. So I'll right click and I'll change the state here and submit this for approval. I'll say that I finished design. Please review. And I'll go ahead and I'll notify one of my managers and change the state. We're now in the waiting approval state. We'll go ahead and one more time change the state to release this document. When we chose past approval, notice both files are moving through their respective workflows, utilizing those same name transitions, while each file is using its own designated workflow. When we approve the files, notice the part now has Rev A, and if we navigate over to our instruction manual document, we can see that it is also at Rev A. So in this video, we saw how we can take advantage of two different workflows while utilizing same name transitions to have each file go through its own workflow and ultimately release the files at the same time. So a good example of this is that if the part had to go through another revision, since we created that reference earlier with the Word document, we'll notice that the Word document also has to get updated through its workflow as well. 
So this has been using multiple document workflows. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.